Hello guys, welcome back to another video on Hats TV. Now today it's the Luton Town versus Notts County preview. Now I haven't done a preview video in a while, but before I start this video, there's a few things which I need to say. The first thing which I need to say is that obviously thank you guys for all the support recently. Now this isn't just Luton fans, this is also other fans of supporters. So like so I've had a few Grimsby fans. Portsmouth fans, Stevenish fans, and I've had a few others who have been watching the channel as well. So, in my like, when I first started doing this channel, I wanted to just to promote Luton. I wanted to get more fans. I wanted to encourage more younger um, Luton fans in supporting Luton. Now, I didn't expect other team like other supporters, like other fan bases, to watch this channel as well. So. I'm kind of doing something which I didn't expect to do. So, a huge thank you to you guys as well. Now, the second thing which I wanted to say was, on Monday, Bank Holiday Monday, I went to Mansfield away, obviously the one-all draw. Um, basically, the reason why there was no vlog was because YouTube screwed me over. Basically, I, I literally, I recorded the video, I got home, I edited the video, and then when I went to upload the video onto YouTube, YouTube wouldn't let me upload this. Now this has happened before. It happened early in the season where we played Notts County in the nil-nil draw. So yeah, I don't think YouTube likes me going to Nottingham and recording it. So yeah, I've had that problem twice this season. But after on Tuesday, after I finished school, I managed to fix it. But by then, it was actually too late for me to upload the video onto YouTube. So, because I don't really like uploading my vlogs um, a couple of days after. I only like, like, obviously, uploading it a day after. That's because I get the most reaction, the most interaction. Like, I get I get the most views after that. When you leave it, like, a few days afterwards, not many people are interested in the video. So, I, that's why I didn't upload the video. But, on to the game against Notts County. Now, obviously, Notts County have now survived relegation. They 100% will not be getting relegated in this season. But their players have to play for pride. Their players are playing for their contracts. Obviously, Notts County have got a new manager in Kevin Nolan. And he, obviously, is going to see what players are going to be playing for them next season. And what players are going to be playing for them this season. Obviously, Notts County... We don't really have a good record against them. I haven't actually seen Luton beat them. So this week isn't going to be fun for me. However, Luton, obviously, we have not confirmed playoffs yet. And that's what we've got to do. There are about, I think, all the way down to 14th place, I think it is, or whatever. There's so many teams who can get into that playoff places. At the moment, we don't look convincing whatsoever because we keep drawing games. We like to draw games. And I believe we'll only get five points from now to the end of the season. Just because we like the fact... Due to the fact is we like to draw much. This season has... I wouldn't say it's been a disappointment. I've seen it's been a, a few letdown from some of our players. Because obviously Nathan Jones, he brags about them a lot. Praises them. Says like we've got a team to be proud of. But some players haven't stepped up. They ha they've made Nathan Jones look a little bit like an idiot. And yeah... This Saturday is a must-win game. I keep saying this, and I've been saying this for the last, I think, think for the last past two months now. Every game now is a must-win game. We need to, well, obviously, I know we're four games unbeaten, but the performances haven't been convincing enough, and we don't look like we are a team ready to go to get promoted to League One. Now, obviously, the only way we are going to get promoted to League One is going to Wembley. We've got obviously six games left in all honesty if we get if we stay in the playoffs i do believe we will be in the playoffs but i don't i don't know if we will get to the final which i just don't think the players have been consistent enough this season but obviously i'm still going to support the team but we need to kind of turn these draws into wins now my lineup which i would play for the Notts county game now i know loads of fans have been moaning on social media recently Keep complaining, keep moaning about how Nathan Jones is not being consistent enough with his team. So obviously for that reason, I deep down know Nathan Jones will be making changes. But for me, as a manager, he's made a lot of mistakes this season. It is his first season in charge of managing a team. And he's going to learn, you know. But with an experienced like, coach alongside him, Paul Hart, he's been a, a disappointment as well this season. Because his press conferences are absolutely boring and really bad. But anyway, on to the lineup. Um, in goal is going to be more. Um, I actually really like him. In fact, I like every goalkeeper which Nathan signed, uh, which Nathan Jones has signed this um, 
during his campaign at Luton. He signed that Jonathan Mitchell from Derby. He's got Walton from Brighton, Macy from Arsenal, and obviously Moore from Reading. I think all four of them are good enough. And if we could bring any four of them on a permanent deal next season, I'd be kind of happy. But anyway, Moore in goal, right back. Um, James Justin has been performing really bad recently. Um, I, I think it's unfair to drop him, but I think you have to and put O'Donnell in. I hate O'Donnell. I don't like him as a footballer. I hope he doesn't get given a new contract in the summer. And if he does, I will literally be... In, I'll be really frustrated if he does get a contract because, in my eyes, he's been at the club now for over 18 months now. He does not deserve a new contract, and I think he's not even good enough to play in League 2. But anyway, I put O'Donnell's right back. In the two centre-backs, I will play Glenn Ray and Scott Cuthbert. Glenn Ray's performances have been really bad recently. Uh, Left-back, Alan Sheehan. Um, Jack Senior's injured, but I do reckon Alan Sheehan's going to be a left-back. In the midfield, I'm going to go right wing. I'm going to go with um, Lawson Diaf. And then in the two centre mids, I'm going to go with Paddy Roderick and Oli Lee. And left in the left midfield, I'm going to go with Luke Gavin. Now, before I say anything, Paddy Roderick's had a few bad performances, yet people keep mining at him and saying, oh, he needs to be dropped, or he's not good enough, and all this, but like all this. But can I just say something, yeah? As a player, if you keep getting moved positions, different positions every week, I'm sorry, but your performances are not going to be consistent. And that's what Nathan Jones has done with Paddy this season. Yes, at times, Paddy Roddick's like decision, decision making and his final ball is letting down a lot. But playing in different positions does not help. So, obviously, obviously us as fans need to get behind the players and stop slagging them off every time they've had a bad game. But Oli Lee's been playing really well recently, and I think he's been the best player in the last four games. Up front, I'll also play Danny Hilton and Isaac Vassell. Isaac Vassell and Danny Hilton have been playing well, but in the second half, if we're not winning or we're drawing, bring on Oli Palmer and hopefully he can change the game. But anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. My formation was a 4-4-2. Highly unlikely Nathan Jones will play this formation. He end up playing a diamond formation or he will play with three at the back. He'd do one of those formations, but I hope he plays a 4-4-2. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Obviously, drop down a comment down your lineup which you would pick for the game against Notts County and your thoughts and feelings about the game against Mansfield and your predictions from now to the end of the season. Obviously, don't forget to subscribe to Hatters TV and also don't forget to subscribe to my other channel as well. And I'll see you guys in in the next video.